Dump them out, Mad, and go get some more. So these uh, chickadees are moving into their new house today. Daddy said don't put it on the this, put it on the metal part. That right. holds the door better. So we have a door holder. Maddie's okay. putting them in buckets and bringing them out. Isaac's getting food and water prepared. And it looks like they are loving life out here now. They were definitely getting too big for their little um, things we had them in. This is, you can get this to focus through the gate here. The fencing. I want to focus, I want to focus on the fence. There we go. These girls we will have for two weeks on Wednesday. Today's Monday. And look how big they are already. How big meat chicks get compared to laying hens. They are big and they are so happy to be out here getting the bugs and pecking at the grass. What they sh chickens should be doing naturally. Not in your uh, chicken processing farms where they're shoved up with no no way to get to the natural ground. They will taste much better when they're out here foraging around like they're supposed to be doing. Here. Fill it all the way up. All the way to the top. Okay, now turn the hose down to a different setting before you wash out the top or it's going to splash you in the face. Try that one. Okay, dump it upside down. Do you know how to... Nope. Stand it up, buddy, because you're getting it muddy now. Wash it out. Now set it on the water upside down. That's good. Set it on the water upside down. What? What? I'm down. Where's your shoes? It's not a shoe. It's not a shoe. Where's your shoes? Shoes. You don't need Hunter's shoes. You need Ethan's shoes. Oh. Come here. I help you down. Shoe. There's Hunter's shoes. Yeah. All right. Come on. Did you help us with the chickens? Mm -hmm. Oh, jumping on the trampoline. That was help. Okay. Don't step on all the sticks. What you looking for? All right, Isaac. Did you close it back? Yeah. Leave the dolly out because we need that to move them. Did you have fun getting the chickies in here? Yes. Are you going to have fun when we get them ready to eat? Yes. You will? Yes. You want to eat them? Yes. They got to get a lot bigger, huh? Yes. What? We want off more cheese. If they're too small? Yep. Because for eat more mm -hmm. enough for them to have a lot of meat. Yeah, they got to get bigger to have a lot of meat. Ethan, the chickies don't want to stick. No, no, they don't want to stick. Take your sticks out. They don't want to stick. Take your sticks out. Hunter, get all that wood and nails put away. If you gave Hunter, I don't know if you can see him way over there. And excuse our shed, doesn't need pressure wash. If you gave that child a hammer and nails and wood. He would be happy all day. There were some hungry chickies. All right, so we got them all set up. The dog is being their major protector. She uh, has been sitting right here by the door watching us put them in and making sure we're treating her chickies right. So I think she'll keep them nice and safe out here. My husband built this yesterday. He got these metal... I don't even know what these are. 
We built it out of this and covered it in chicken wire. Then we got a tarp for the top for rain, wind, shade. Um, they are getting some sunlight. And as the sun moves over, they'll be in direct sunlight, but they'll have shade this way. So anyway, I think this is all that they need. We're learning. Hopefully we'll be experts at this the next time around. We're hoping to do some turkeys next. We'll see how that goes. Um, no, leave the wood there though, so they don't get out underneath. No, no. We had to move it. I moved it over here into the sun because it is kind of a cool day. We've been having a lot of cool nights. Um, so it made it where the edges here have a gap underneath, but when my husband, I'll have my husband move it tonight and they won't have that big gap. And I did put a heat lamp up just in case they still needed a little heat in case it got a little chilly today and I'm sure they'll use it tonight. We may put something over there to block off the wind this evening and just leave the heat lamp up. But they're doing good. So just a little chicken update. I showed you guys this morning when we um, moved them out of their little bins in the shed to their chicken tractor. Just a little chilly today. I did put the heat lamp out there, um, but my husband is gonna bring home um, either another tarp or some wood or something to go on the sides, definitely at night or in the evenings when the wind picks up a little bit and it starts cooling off. Believe it or not, we are having like a cold, um, end of October and beginning of November here in Florida. It's really weird. Um, cold for us. 40s at night a lot. Uh, and just the wind is really, really kind of bitter feeling, really chilly feeling. So feels wonderful, I think, pregnant mama to be outside in. But might be a little much for those baby chicks that don't have all their feathers in yet. So we are keeping the heat lamp out there for them. They are all huddled under it right now, so I know that they're cold. So we're going to, I'm going to have him put another heat lamp out there. So that they all have adequate space to get under the lamps and um, bring something to block some of that wind. Anyway, they're doing good. Like I said earlier, they will be two weeks, or we will have had them two weeks on Wednesday. Today's Monday. They are really, really growing um, to, be, to be here less than two weeks. They have definitely doubled, if not very close to tripled in size. So I think they're going to be... All they do is eat. Now I have read and researched that at starting at three weeks, so starting next week, midweek, um, we're going to do 12 hours on feed, 12 hours off feed. Um, if any of you guys have any suggestions, you guys have done meat birds before, if you could tell me with the feeding schedule, what you do right now, we're just, um, before we go to bed at night, we make sure their feeder's full. We feed them in the morning and we feed them in the middle of the day because, um, like when we put them all out there this morning, we filled both the feeders up, went back out there uh, several hours later, and they were all empty and pecking at the empty feeder. So we went ahead and filled them up again, and we'll do it before we go to bed. So if you guys have any um, tips how you do it or, um, you know, your feeding routines for your meat birds, let us know. Because, like I said, we're new at this. We're just learning. Um, they're doing really good. We did have several that died off. Um, I think we lost a total five. We're down to 40. I think now we lost a total of five. We think it was, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. It's some very big long name that starts with a C. That's very common that baby chicks get because they were having some diarrhea. I had a lady from church that has done raised his chickens all the time and is the chicken expert lady. So <clears throat> she let us know what to check for. We did. We had the correct medicine to give them, which we put in their water for several days. Um, and so hopefully all that's cleared out of their system before we process them because we're not giving it to them anymore. We give it for three days. Um, so besides that, we lost the five. They're all looking very healthy. They're all looking very uh, vibrant. They're running around. I love that now that they can get to fresh grass, what they're intended to do because I hear that they're, uh, they taste a lot better when they're not like factory raised or raised inside your barn or whatever when they're out on fresh grass and so we're going to move that chicken tractor every day or every other day depending on what the area looks like and um just keep them on fresh grass like chickens are meant to be and uh, let them explore a little and move around a little and um the dog's being very protective of them so 
I am um, confident that she will keep predators away. We have a lot of raccoons. We have a lot of bears. We have bobcats, um, regular cats. Um, what else have we seen in our neighborhood? They've actually spotted a panther, a Florida panther in our neighborhood before last year. Nobody's told me they've seen the panther lately, though. So who knows what's out in these woods? I mean, we're next to the National Forest. So um, lots of things, lots of predators. But I'm confident that the doggie will take care of them because he, she thinks those are her chickens. She thinks those are her goats. She keeps bears out of our trash can. The second I hear that trash can knock over, she gets very... Um, vicious sounding and by the time my husband gets out there the bear is long gone so anyway that is the update with our chicky chicks and um madison you're not getting too attached to them are you she's trying very hard not to be attached to these chickens but we've had lots of conversations about meat chickens and the purpose of their lives and how they will suffer and die if they are not butchered by a certain age and that this is their purpose in life and they're living a really good life up until they fulfill that purpose. And um, we're just going to give them a good life until we um, are ready to eat them. <laughs> so anyway, not you're not ready. She's still not ready. My little, I tell her all the time she's going to work at a zoo or something. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me here today. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we really appreciate you being here and watching us and and join in our family on our little mini homesteading journey. And um, we'll see you soon.